So now today, we're going to be taking a look at other things. Uh, not this, this is not important. Okay, we're going to take a look at probably the next oil setup and getting the stuff with that. It's, I don't even know. Honestly, at this point we have done a lot. Maybe we should look at garrison. Because we might have enough for our first rocket. Which is a very big step towards, um... <laughs> okay, we definitely have enough, almost. We are getting close to the point where this thing is ready for launch. So, the rocket is a very big step. And I don't really have a place where I'm gonna put this thing. But if I had my guess, it's gonna be in one of these new chunks over here that I have recently cleared out from the mountain. You can see the work I've been doing on that thing. That thing is annoying. But I'll get rid of it eventually. So I'm probably going to put the rocket facility over here, and then we'll have a building that just goes and stretches back into this mountain area. And there's going to be a big tower, probably, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> this is going to be the rocket facility. I fully expect that this is going to take us more than one episode. The only way it doesn't is if I somehow manage to do it in one episode. I don't know. But that's highly unlikely. That's not, that's not even going to happen. There's no chance of that. So we're looking for a tank. What kind of tank? Not the kind that rolls over and gets shot with RPGs from the rooftop. The kinds that... that uh... One of these got... Come on. Fluid barrel. It's just a barrel. That's what it's called. Barrel. This. That's what we're looking for. We're gonna need quite a few of them because when you fill them with garrison, they're used in rockets. A lot of different rocket stuff. Even missiles too. 16 of them. Which is about 256,000 garrison. It's quite a, a momentous or, or tremendous task, I should say. Momentous is not a good word for that. that. That's the wrong word, in fact. And it's going to cost a lot of rubber, which we're producing right now, in fact. So maybe we need to put in. We definitely need to put in more sulfur to get more rubber. We'll get there eventually. But we are at the stage of the game that we should have a rocket by now. This is one of those things that, like, it's, it's just... You just need it. You just do. And at this stage, there's no excuse for not having it. I feel like the rocket building should go next to the ore processing building, shouldn't it? So, it takes about 16 aluminium to make 16 barrels. And once you have 16 barrels, you can then conti continue to go get your kerosene. You will need another one, but we'll get to that later when we go to tackle the actual machine we're going to be putting on our aircraft, a spaceship of sorts. And as you can see, this guy is almost done. It's incredible. He just needs a bit more. And uh, we're getting that from the kerosene, I think. Maybe? Where are we getting this from? What, what do we need more of? Is it heating oil? I think it's heating oil. We must be producing heating oil somewhere. I, I I am not sure where. We are producing light oil, correct? Light oil gets processed here. Kerosene. Yep, yep. We're we producing heating oil as well. Because we should be... Yeah. Right? This guy's got a problem, though. He's got a lot of, lot of heavy oil. What was that? Where was that? What was that? Where was that? Okay, it's up in the mountains. Who cares? That has to be the meteorite. I'm pretty sure... It's just, it's just solid meteorite blocks. This is, um... Okay. Vein mine it. Yeah, it was, it was literally just meteorite blocks. <laughs> 21! Who needs 21 meteorite blocks? What am I gonna do with this? That is 2,100 meteorite fragments right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna be turning them into fragments, though, of course. They are more valuable as blocks. Because that means if I ever want blocks or something, I don't have to make the, um, you know, all the nonsense. Alright, so we're on the HDR rocket, and uh, I guess we're gonna start with the easy stuff. So we got our kerosene, we're gonna skip to, and then we're gonna go ahead and build big titanium shell. Some aluminium, or some, actually, steel shells. Okay, so we got six titanium shells, correct? Six titanium shells is 36 titanium ingots, I believe. And so if we just slap them down, that is plates, that's not really what I wanted. And then again, it does cost 24 of those titanium plates, so who cares, really? We got 28 of them. We need to add some stuff to that, make it into the right stuff. 
38, 36. Nice. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Titanium Shell. Oh, wait. You just make it as is. What am I doing? Why am I, why am I doing things wrong? Okay. So we got this guy. He comes after the engines, right? We're going to get the engines set up later. We need two steel shells. Boom. So this should be the steel shells, correct? No, stop it. Do it correctly. <laughs> Maybe what we could do is have a crafting table, which is just designed so that we can automatically just throw stuff in and it does this stuff for us. Aluminium shells in the tiny variety. Now that requires 12, which means that I can just make, I believe, 12 plates of aluminium. And that gives us, no, it requires three for each one, which, 24. Don't ask how I know, but 24 is the right number. It, it actually, because yes, 12 times 2 is 24. And you need two times as much for that. So, 24 of these guys. 25? That, you kidding me? Bruh. Bruh. Okay, there we go. 12 of them. Boom. Then after that comes our titanium plating, which we have way too much of, unfortunately. Put that in there. We gotta have 128 latex bars, or rubber bars, basically two stacks. Which is not something I have currently, but we are working towards, actively. The last thing we're gonna need is arguably one of the most, uh, most annoying... But we gotta get a bunch of these circuits. And we could go flying around looking for circuits, but we've we've done that a million times. We're, we're gonna probably just make them, honestly. It shouldn't be too difficult, should it? We just need 32 more rubber, and then we have it. And then the engines, kind of what I want to tackle next, probably. Deck cords are just four gunpowder, and then um, four pa one, one paper, and four one gunpowder, four paper. Simple stuff. Pretty easy. Shouldn't be difficult. So we got to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Then we wrap the gunpowder in the paper. Do not make fireworks. They're absolutely useless in this version, actually. Funny thing. Fireworks have no use. <laughs> and then we're just going to take what we have over here and shove it into here. If we have enough. Hopefully we do. It does not seem like we do at all. In fact, it seems like we're going to need to make a lot more. That's why today we'll do some circuit batch crafting as well. So don't worry, don't be disappointed. We are not gonna be done today if we don't have the stuff we need to do. In fact, we don't, we, we, we really can't do that. We have to We have to make it, the video as much as we can. So simply we're gonna take, um, that's, that's, I don't think we need that right now. I think, I don't remember how we even do this. It's been so long, actually. I don't think I've ever made a circuit in this world. I've just been taking circuits from the other places. Wow. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's, um, okay. So we're gonna take two of these guys. We're gonna, we're gonna just, boom, boom, smash them down, right? Nice. We're gonna make some of the aluminum wires. Which I think this is it, because you can't have iron wires, right? You can't do that. That that, that does not exist. Throw it on the floor, because we don't really need that right now. We need two stacks of redstone, or really one stack, because we can't afford another. <laughs> Isn't that pyre fork? That is not pyre fork. This makes the circuit assemblies, so we can make stacks of circuits in a large quantity. This is because circuits are easy to make. Once you have this tier four anvil, you can just make them real quick. So now that we have our circuits and stuff, we're gonna go ahead and make the um, template for them, which I believe is just... Have we made it? We actually might have made a circuit at one point. We might have made circuits once. Maybe. I don't really know. Like, if we have, it's been a long, long time because I don't remember it. They'll make circuits, okay? Nice! Another crate in the stack. Oh wait, we, we don't want to obstruct that guy because I do want to be able to use him, so I guess we'll just place it up here. Boom. Circuit. Or no, crate. Why does it keep using something else? It keeps using something else in my inventory that... Oh, it used bone meal. Okay, that was good. I guess we throw paper in here. Why not? Is there paper in here? No. 
So to put these together, you need gold powder. To my knowledge, that's what you need. I don't really remember because, like I said, it's been a while since we've done the circuits, but I'm pretty sure it's gold powder to put these guys together. Taking them apart, you don't get anything back. So, yeah. Really, if you find these guys and you're building a rocket, you should just hold on to the military grade ones. They're the more expensive of the bunch. And I believe we need to process these guys up in the next year as well. So, engines, because this is the next easy thing to make. These are actually made on the arc welder now, which is interesting. They need motors still, and uh, graphite, which is also a good detail and no, I think. In fact, a, a rocket motor needs graphite in it in the real world because the graphite has such a high temperature resistance that it, it's just, just a really good material for that. It is kind of heavy, but... It's not really gonna matter when you got a massive rocket. <laughs> now, I think in, like, weapons rockets, they probably don't use graphite because it doesn't- it wouldn't really matter. You just have a steel casing and then... put fuel in it. <laughs> so we're gonna need some of them. And how many of these rock motors are we gonna need? Medium motors. Oh, it's gonna be four. Okay, then. I mean, I've already got all the wires that I need. I think the actual mill shut down for a little bit, so we'll go ahead and take a... Oh, we need to make more. Wait, do we have any of them? Uh, no, we don't. And then for each one, we need eight of them, so I guess I'm going to need 32 steel ingots. I mean, it's a lot of steel, but hey. We're making stuff here, okay? 32 steel. Plates. Boom. Going in there. Then lastly, we're going to need the final thing, which is going to be, of course, 32 graphite ingots. So we're gonna make them in there. Boom. The circuits are done. Now, I bet circuits are actually easier to make on a arc welder now. Uh, before, they were absolutely atrocious to make, but maybe now they're actually decent to make on the arc furnace. Who knows? Can you make these on the arc welder? Is that a thing you can do? I think you can make them on the arc, arc welder. I don't know. Okay, with the graphite done, we can just shove it into there, and then we should be good. Let's go ahead and grab our tanks. And the last thing we're going to need to make a rocket is the actual circuits. We might complete it in one episode, and then we got the rest of the stuff we got to do next episode. So this would be way faster than the last playthrough we did on the 1.7 version. In fact, that this is definitely going to be much faster. Now, you all probably have heard me saying that we're going to be making the next one of these guys pretty soon, and we're going to be sending them up, up over there somewhere. And uh, the thing with that is that it's going to go underground, unfortunately, but... Eh. Can't really, I can't really do anything about it. I can't complain about it. That plant's going to introduce us to some new machines. We're going to try to use combine cycle gas turbines and um, kerosene turbofans. So I would like to try those things out. I've never used the turbofans. I have used the combine cycle gas turbines. I've used two of them before. Okay, so we're gonna just take an entire stack of these, and we're just gonna we're just gonna convert them up to the next tier. <laughs> and, well, well, we'll convert as many up to the next tier as we can, so that's just literally this, and then to make the next template, we're gonna need a piece of paper and uh, some bone meal, probably, because using anything else is a waste of material. Please do not use coal tar. Please do not use anything that is not bone meal. If you use anything that's not bone meal, then uh, I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen, but probably bad stuff. Okay, so for the last one, you're going to need neutron reflectors, apparently, for this gigantic one. Which is um, kind of kind of, kind of, of fun, I guess. I don't know. Also, does the th how many of the advanced... Oh my gosh, six overclocked circuits. Okay, shouldn't be difficult. But it's something to keep in mind when you go to make this thing is that it is going to need a couple of them overclocked ones and more high-speed steel, which we, we no longer have. We have uh, ran out of steel. Not not steel. Um, it, you know what I mean. The other stuff. So it's going to be 12 of these guys and 10 high-speed steel plus one motor, which we are currently working on the high-speed steel right now. It's going to be a bit, though, on that. Now, I'm going to do the high-speed steel in blocks, because it's easier to recognize. I did one block of cobalt, and then we're going to do... And it was just cobalt powder, by the way. It was not a block of it. I just put in nine pieces of it, so... And then if you have one block of cobalt, 
then we just gotta multiply the recipe by nine. So, using blocks allows you to represent it as one. So we need five blocks of steel, boom, and each of them gets processed as a block. So it, it just, it's faster too. There's that. But that should be the exact ratio I just put in, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. And as you can see, we have tungsten, two blocks of that, we got, and then this high-speed steel forming, okay? So that, that should do the trick. Okay, it takes, it takes one more block. I put in four blocks, I think, so it takes, it takes five, just so you all are aware. But as you can see, that produced, like, what? <laughs> a lot of blocks of this. Well, I just got one block left, but uh, we've already got a good enough quantity of the stuff to finish. One motor goes in. Boom. Now, do we have any of those advanced circuit things? No, we don't. I mean, overclocked circuits. It's, it's... Anyway, you get what I mean. In order to complete the process, we're going to need one chem plant, which is going to be this guy. We're, we're going we're gonna to sacrifice this chem plant to the circuit gods. Of course, it's going to need peroxide, and uh, that's basically all it should need. And petroleum gas, which is why we're going over to here, because there's already a petroleum gas pipe right over here. So all I have to do is set this guy up, probably, probably right here. No, nah, but that's that's not gonna work for me. Probably, probably right here. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna need six of these advanced circuits, and to make six of them, we're gonna need some gold wire. Ooh, how much do we need for each one? We need three gold ingots worth. Okay, it's gonna be 24 gold wire, and then we're gonna need six of the lapis powder. Now, lapis powder, I usually say, is as good as cobalt. But in this case, we're not making our lapis powder into cobalt because we kind of need that stuff. We're gonna need four polymer as well, but we're also going to need another thing, hydrogen peroxide. As far as the polymer is concerned, it can be baked like it can be polymer, it can be whatever you have. It just it has to be some kind of polymer, any any plastic, basically. And now we have everything we need except for rubber to make a rocket. Rubber is the one thing we need, and we need 32 more of it to finish this up. But I'll see you all next time, unless we have all the rubber. I, I want to check before we go. Do we, in fact, have every single piece of rubber? We have 23. That means next time we will probably be back and the rocket will be done. <laughs> like, literally. Okay, see you all next time.